Yeah. Um, so uh, tell us about your, what's your name? So I'm Sh 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 Shalom. <laughs> How you doing, Shalom? <laughs> Shalom, her oh, name is peace be unto you. There's your test. All right, there she goes. Shawa Shaw Yasharala. Hey, cut. <laughs> Bloopers. Right, bloopers. <laughs> That'd be good to do that. Shalom Yasharala. My name is Shawa Shan. I'm the wife of Banaya Ban Yasharala. Welcome to Sisters of Virtue. All praises to the Most High. I'm here today to share with you my testimony on how I came into the truth. So, can you tell us about your ethnicity? What's the background? <laughs> So today, I all praises to the Most High. I know that I am a Hebrew Israelite. All praises. But Esau would call my father a so-called Filipino. My parents are from the land of the Philippines. I was actually born in Guam, and Guam is actually part of the United States. But you know, during my search, and I would say my husband Banaya was more diligent in searching out my father's as he was searching out his father's mm. and so him and I actually came across quite a few books quite a few facts on mm. Filipinos so when we were studying Hebrew Israelites a lot of what you hear is so-called black so-called Mexicans mm -hmm. so-called Native Americans right. and what people don't know and what's dear and near to my heart is that you know, some Filipinos are Native Americans. We were not brought here willingly. Uh -huh. There is uh -huh. an Acapulco slave trade, Mexicans and Filipinos on the same boat, uh -huh. brought over to the United States. A lot of Filipinos were here in cages, in you know some of the same lands as you know our so-called Indians, um, enslaved, called savages, called Negritos. Uh -huh. You know uh -huh. those, which means little blacks. So there's a huge history of the original Filipinos that most people don't know about. And so thankfully, you know, the Most High allowed us to find the avenues to search out. And mm -hmm. that's how, you know, we came about to know, you know, I'm not saying all Filipinos are Israelites, yeah, but there yeah. are a great number of Israelite Filipinos. Um, our congregation, True Nation Israelite Congregation, even has a True Nation congregation in the Philippines headed up by Zabad, all praises to the Most High, um, leading a small congregation in the Philippines for those who have searched out their fathers and who know and allowed that spirit to come over them that are following the commandments, that are, you know, following our law, statutes, and commandments. Word out, yeah. Yes, and already, you know, they're 15 hours ahead of us, so they're already into our our feast that we're celebrating tonight here in California, which is Pentecost, first fruits, all praises to the Most High. Yeah, so I am so excited about that, that, you know, the word is spreading for those who are so-called Filipinos. Search out your forefathers, yeah. you know, really understand your history and where you came from. Don't go off of what someone's telling you. You know, the scriptures tell you, if your spirit bears witness with this word and you begin to follow those commandments, you, you do what the Most High is telling yeah. you to do. You know? right. Right. So I believe that I am an Israelite. All praises. Yeah, all praises. Yes. Tell us, how did you, how did you come into the truth? Shalom. So Shalom. 2017 is when I officially came into the truth. All praises to the Most High. He used my husband as a vessel to bring me into the truth. Um, all our marriage we've been married 32 years all praises 32 years 32 Ooh. years yes and we were in well i grew up as high a school. child high school yeah we were babies um we i grew up in catholicism and mm. then when i met banaya in high school i converted to the bootleg christianity God. and we've been in we had been in christianity all of our marriage and 2000 i would say 15 16 my husband began to search the scriptures tell you to inquire and search out your fathers and he came across some youtube videos about hebrew israelites and the most high dealt with him and so he began to search and search and as he was doing his searching he was telling me in the process babe our pastor isn't telling us the truth you know he's been telling us lies so of course you know, initially my spirit was adverse to it because I loved my pastor. That's I'm right. like, he wasn't lying. He's not lying to us. Like what that, are you talking like about? It's right. been decades, you know. Right. And so 
it became, you know, initially it was combative because I, I didn't want to believe that my pastor was lying to me, my Christian pastor. And so he kept telling me, look, this isn't it. This isn't our history. We're not even being told that we have to follow the commandments. Mm -hmm. So for a while, you know, as he began to transform, you know, from worldly ways into, you know, following the commandments, I began to see a huge change in my husband. Mm -hmm. And so he kept telling me, you know what, if you don't want to take face value what I'm saying to you, then you read the scriptures for yourself. You start doing your own research. I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is the truth. And so I did exactly what he said because I, I didn't want to be left behind. Right. So I right. began to read for myself. I asked the Most High. One of my favorite scriptures is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Mm. I asked the Most High, I trust you. Right. If right. you want me, if this is the truth, show, show me. me. Show me. And I did exactly what I was supposed to do, which is do. I read, I prayed, asked the Most High, please reveal to me yes. the truth. You know, what is the truth? Am I, what, what I'm doing right now, is, is it not right? Am I supposed to be following the commandments? What do I do? So as I began to search, read, I began to read the curses in Deuteronomy. I began to mm. read from beginning, trying to get through the end to really understand and put the pieces together. The turning point for me when I knew the Most High was dealing with me was, I came to my husband and I said, I'm ready to start following the commandments. Can I do the Sabbath with you this weekend? Wow. All praises to the Most High. Come on. It was a turning point. And that's when I knew from that day forward. So it was January of 2017. Yeah. I went to my first Sabbath class. Um, and I just, I knew. I knew that those scriptures were the truth. I knew that I was supposed to be following the commandments. From then on, threw away all of the pork out the refrigerator oh, yeah. and did oh, everything I was supposed to do. My husband said, you know, for every pant you throw away, you could buy a new dress. So I was like, woo, all praise to the Most High. So that was awesome. Right. You know, now stuff like that. So yeah. I just began to transform myself. Our family began to transform. Mm. And you know, the, the unfortunate part is my relationships with my friends and my immediate family began to you know, sever, it, it wasn't as strong as it used to be because of holidays that I had to tell them I couldn't do anymore. Yeah. Um, it began a strain, but the scriptures tell you, you know, one or two of a family. And so it's, it's saddening, but you know, where my mindset is, is my husband, all praises to the most high for him, um, you know, leading us in this truth, our family, you know, we're still at this point, still trying to bring our eldest son, Isaac, into Isaac, it. Yeah, yes, but all praise is not a Zach, our little one, you know, the most high. We have a 15 year gap between the boys. So That's your oldest, right? Our oldest is 26, is oh, Isaac, okay. and then oh, not a Zach, 11. And oh, so no. most high know what he was doing. He was like, you got one right now. Hopefully most high will and the oldest will come into it. But. Sure. That's how it came in the truth. And, you know, all praise to the Most High. We are at True Nation Israelite Congregation. Those scriptures tell you to always be continually with the godly men. And oh I am so ecstatic that we are in a place where we can follow the commandments, we can do the work, we can be high level servants of the Most High and to our people. And what is your advice to the young women that want to live that happy? Because you all seem like a happy, happy couple <laughs> for so long. It's like, oh man. man. It's like, I mean, the like, most simplistic advice is search out your fathers, read the scriptures for yourself, fast and pray, mm -hmm. and sincerely, you know, read the scriptures for yourself. And the Most High will, it's amazing what His Spirit will do. Yes. The understanding that He will bring to you. Um, you know the fruits of the spirit that he'll begin to just allow to overtake you and all of your old ways are thrown away and then you become new following the commandments is, is the only way this yeah, is yeah. the one and only truth our power Yahweh, is yes. the only way yes. all praises to the most high all praises mm -hmm. well we appreciate you taking out the time and talk to us in this hot sun <laughs> Beaming down, but you took this, you sacrificed. Most high's creation, I, I'll praise <laughs> it, I'll praise it. The water, Akyam. The water, the water. <laughs>